Why is orange called orange? Hi, it's Juliana talking about Orange, a song I wrote with my amazing and talented friend Ariza, which is currently out everywhere if you didn't know. But let's talk about the title. Orange is the color, not the fruit, and it's about the feeling, not the taste. No more fruit songs as far as I know. Anyway, I have this fun thing called synesthesia, which is a thing that my brain does to everything in my life. It's really fucking annoying. But by definition, synesthesia is a rare neurological condition in which information meant to stimulate one sense stimulates several. It looks different for everyone, but typically involves shapes, colors, and emotions. For me, it's every letter, number, or character has a color or colors. Songs have a color or colors. Emotions have colors and shapes, places have feelings, and so on. Like for example, for me, B is orange, and the letter, s the number seven, oh my god, is green. Lots of famous musicians have it, including Billie Eilish and Phineas, Lord, and Conan Gray. For a really long time, I thought orange was not a color you could find in music because I'd never heard an orange song before. But when I heard the production in the studio, I heard the color orange and we named the song that. In Midsummer, orange is actually a really important color. One scene, for example, is when Danny is on shrooms. The lighting is orange, which psychologically will make your brain stimulate activity. But it also draws attention, which is really important in the scene because there's a dead girl in the mirror. Other important orange things in the movie are the drink that Christian drinks, the girl that Christian cheats on Danny with, and of course, the fire. The whole movie itself is based on color psychology, to my own understanding. And I could get into that, but time is important and I am no psychologist. But that's why Orange is called Orange. So yeah, stream Orange by Juliana Joy and Ariza now. Available everywhere.